What is creative coding? In this video, we will find out about creative coding and its scope. So make sure to click like and subscribe for more interesting videos. A lot of people not familiar with programming assume that coding is boring by default. Coding is for nerds. And not just any nerds, but nerds who excel in math and live in front of their computers. While this is partially true, and was definitely true 20 or 30 years ago, there is, as always, the other side of the coin not everyone gets to see. If you write code long enough, you start realizing that coding is just like art. It starts with an idea, then you select the right tools, create your first draft, and keep perfecting it until you love the result. Creative coding uses software, code, and computational processes to be expressive or to create art forms. While creative coding is generally thought of as more aesthetic than functional, it's becoming increasingly commonplace in advertising, branding, and the wider design industry. The internet is full of breathtaking examples of creative coding, like the featured image by Shirley. True, digital art is not as functional as, say, your average calculator app, but who cares? Her portfolio is probably one of the prettiest things I've seen in a while. And don't even get me started on Android Jones. The digital art is just unbelievable. Period. He has 360 immersive experience at a music festival once, and it was like the coolest thing ever. Just like other artists, creative coders create art for galleries, shows, events, private parties, interactive installations, music festivals, etc. Some great examples include Arctic House, Super Blue in Miami, Van Gogh Experience, and other amazing places. If you've been to the Dolly, Salvador Dolly's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida, you know what I'm talking about. The whole place is like a huge digital playground where art comes alive thanks to modern technologies. What kind of computer do I need? Although computational power can become important when processing big images or complex algorithms in real time, you don't need such computer to start coding creatively. Of course, the cheaper the computer, the more limitations it will have. Computers have a dedicated graphics card, GPU, can always seriously help with the computation of visuals. Where to start? A lot of professional creative coders start as artists, data analysts, or software developers. You can even start with from scratch. It's just going to be harder to master creative coding without a computer science background, but not impossible. We also provide creative coding course. You can start with the link in the description below. What would be an ideal starter project for a beginner? The first project I recommend is to make a creative through code. It allows you to get familiar with the programming environment, syntax and how to create, place, and make visible graphical elements. I then get learners to create a digital mandala, introducing functions to rotate and repeat actions, which get creative with pattern making, shapes, and colors. After this, introducing strong bases for motion and interactivity allows for many possibilities. What industry applications are there for creative coding? Some innovative brands are already using creative programming to make themselves stand out visually, and as brands compete for attention, the use of creative coding will become more mainstream. For example, the Adobe Software Suite already has inbuilt JavaScript functions, so designers with the right skills can use these tools to give their works the edge. Coding more broadly is continuing to gain importance in areas such as information design, data visualization, Internet of Things, VR and augmented reality, not to mention machine learning and artificial intelligence, which everyone is talking about. Coding allows creative people to employ their skills to create value in many different industry applications. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let us know in the comments below about your thoughts. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.